This local clinic is recruiting participants for the Maui wildfire exposure study. It's the largest study of its kind where researchers aim to trace the health impacts of the historic fire in Lahaina one year ago. Director Dr. Ruben Juarez is shocked to find out most participants haven't received any kind of health care since then. Health was never a priority for the government. And to give you an example, the legislature came up with like different things that had to be addressed. Uh, health was never there. It was housing, it was obviously job losses, things like that. And now we are seeing the consequences, unfortunately. Preliminary findings indicate mental health has long been overlooked. 52% of participants uh, had signs of depression. And 30% of participants had also low self-esteem, and in terms of suicidal ideation, 4% of participants. This is a community that's traditionally relied on itself during hard times, but some victims like Quinn Carroll realize that more help is needed from the government, especially in health care. It was a lot of the community help that was providing a lot of the services and the things that people needed, like water and food and everything like that. And it still kind of also feels like the the government and the, the state and federal is not really involved in the ways that I think that they should be when really they should be working for us. It doesn't feel so much that way. Blood samples taken from some of the fire victims have detected high levels of lead and other heavy metals. But health authorities have been slow to respond as there isn't a single toxicologist on the island of Maui. Other screenings have revealed mild to severe lung obstructions that can lead to further complications. There's only one pul pulmonologist on island that serves the community at large. Um, that person is not even full time. So there's, there's a need for sure in the healthcare sector to build support and increase the workforce of specialized care in the state. Our request for an interview with Hawaii State Department of Health has been turned down. Local scientists say the study has exposed shortcomings in the healthcare system. I think it served as a wake-up call for not just us, but for the rest of the country that sees us as a, just a tourist destination. Um, that we do have glaring gaps in our healthcare system. We have health inequities and health disparities that need to be addressed. It is Tian Shan CGTN Makawao on the Hawaiian island of Maui.